Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Areas. In today's tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a login form and forgot the password form. So this can be done with JetForm Builder. All right, so uh, let's get started. So in this tutorial, you would need uh, the user login. So this is uh, JetForm Builder uh, Pro version. So let's check this out. Okay, so it is uh, $49 uh, for this uh, pro version. So as you can see, I've already installed and activated here, right? All right, so let's go to JetForm Builder and then let's start with from scratch. So add a new form. Okay, so login and reset password form. First, uh, start with the conditional. Uh, yeah, conditional block. So I'm going to just bring this over here. And the inside that, um, let's bring a heading. Okay. Let's bring in this heading. And then let's put the uh, login. And then uh, inside this conditional, so I'm going to uh, look for text field right here. Okay. I'm going to add that. And actually, I'm going to add uh, another one so I can. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just duplicate that. So this one, I'm just duplicate it. Okay. So one is for a uh, username or, oh, sorry, email. Okay. And then the other one is a uh, password. Okay. All right. So username, email. And then, so this is fine. And then the next one is password. So it's password. Now make sure this uh, field type should be you're going to select password for that all right and they both are required fields so i make sure this should be on so this field need to be uh it cannot be empty right and the next one is still within this box uh, i need to look for a uh, checkbox all right so checkbox field okay so uh, don't get don't get too confused so there's checkboxes and checkbox field so what we need a checkbox field Okay, so I'll bring that. So this is for remember me. Okay. And then manage item. New input. So label. Remember me. And value. If it's checked, it's one. Okay. And update. All right. uh, actually, you know what? Like, I don't think we need this label here uh, because it already says remember me here. Okay. And the next one is uh, let's look for actual item. Sorry, action button. That's what I know. And instead of submit, uh, we're going to say login. Okay. Now, next, we need to set up this condition in the condition block. So now we don't have anything here show current blocks. Okay. So we need to add new rule. Okay. Here. So select show if. Now, next, we go this operator and then look down here at the bottom one is render state okay pick this and then now you need to pick this default state all right and then hit update this one okay and the next one is we need to build another form so next one is a reset password but you don't have to get out of this so we're going to use this form all right so next one is we need to create another conditional block I can actually use this entire block. I can just duplicate that. Yeah, let's do this. So let's duplicate this right here. And then change this name to reset password. So I'm going to just delete uh, this block because we don't need that. Delete. Yeah, so delete everything. Delete. Delete. Delete that. Okay. And I'm going to just go ahead and publish now. I, I don't want to lose it. Just uh... now within this conditional block here, and then let's look for there's a reset password. Reset password field here. Okay. So I'm going to just uh, enter that. And there is also reset password button. Okay. Right here. So let's add that. 
Now we need to set up a different conditional state for this reset password block. So we're going to just uh, edit this button. So we're going to do the same thing. Which function need execute show if and the operator is same is render state. Now I'm going to just get rid of this default state. Okay. And then we can hit this plus button to add a new render state. Okay. So give a different name as before default state uh, number two. Just give a different name. Okay. Hit add. Now, next one is we need add another action button. Oh, it's right here. And then, so this is for forgot your password. So I'm going to just change label to uh, forgot. Forgot your password. Now, so if you look at the carefully here, then so this action button is you see this switch. So pick this one, change render state. Okay, so what it does is when you click this forgot password, it's going to change to this reset password render. Okay, so this is what it does. Now, so we're going to do the same thing to this state to the reset password conditional box. So let's look for uh, add the action button here. Okay. And then, so we're going to change the label to, uh, let's say, go back to login form. And then switch to change this, change render state button. Okay. Now, so let's go to um, back to reset password conditional block and then just to select this user login email text box. Okay. Now, make sure this is a block and then edit states is default, right? So this means just uh, just just the user login email text text field. Now, as you can see, now it has like a reset. So if you change the reset, uh, you see input new password and then confirm new password. Okay. And then now, as you notice that now here, default is submit. Now, if we change the reset, automatically change to uh, reset password. So you can change the text if you want to. Uh, I'll just leave it as it is. And if you want to cust uh, add a custom reset password email, you can select this one, but this is totally optional because Jet Form Builder uh, comes with uh, just uh, the default um, standard message, standard email. But if you want to, you can change this and then you can edit uh, custom email here. And as you can see, the scroll down uh, this content, you can customize uh, whatever you want to. All right. All right. So now, uh, Jeff form, and then you see uh, two actions here reset password and send email. Okay. And you need to uh, add a new action here. Okay. So what we need is a user login action. Okay. So add that. And the user login field, it's going to be a username and email. And the user password field is password. And the remember me uh, field is remember me right here. All right. And then just uh, hit update. I'll just save that just in case. All right. So next one is this user login. We need to set condition. Now, this is a bit confusing because it's, this is like one form, but you have kind of two different forms, right? Within one form. Uh, you know, one conditional form and the second conditional form. So uh, this is a bit confusing, but I try to explain this to you. Uh, you need to set the condition for that. So this login is because we got the, like four different type of buttons here, action buttons. Now this user login is for only here happens to this login, this state. Okay. So we'll go back to form. So check this. Um, Click this event match, and then this event is um, default states. Um, yeah, here we go. So this on default states. So you select this, okay, and hit update and update. And the next one is a send email action. Now, when send email is when user want to reset password, okay, so not login. So that's why we need to uh, select 
this state which is default number two so let's um, uh, hit the condition button here and then go to event match so this is wrong so this is uh, default state so we're going to change this to default number two all right so right here on default state number two okay and hit update and update okay now the third action the reset password so we're going to do the same thing go to event match now this happens too so reset password it's going to be um, only reset password form which is on default state number two right now in addition to that this is a reset password so uh, there is a reset password yeah so on reset, reset password here so at this event as well okay so those two events and hit update and update okay then we hit save that all right so i need to add one more action just bear with me uh redirect page okay so i'm going to add that and then uh, so after this action happened which is after user login uh i need to i probably have static page uh, i should have account page do i yeah so i got the account page and the update and then let's save it yeah let's just quickly create um login form here login page i mean so you go to jet form build a widget and then i have Yeah, so login reset password forms so right here. Okay, so now as you see, you can see both states are login and reset password. I can just hit update. And then let's take a look. Uh, go to page. Okay. All right, so let's test it out here. So uh, this uh, forgot your password. Oh, okay, it doesn't work. So uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's refresh again. All right, so something wrong. So let's uh, troubleshoot quickly. Okay, so here, so forgot password button. Oh, somehow uh, it didn't set this up. So this is switch to uh, default state two. So which is, yeah, reset password. So let's try that. Hit save. And then uh, refresh this page. Okay, for a password okay now reset password and back to login form back okay so this is working okay now uh, i'm gonna try to uh log in uh, so login okay good so now it is account page so let's try uh, log out and then uh, back to login page again let's try this forgot password okay so i'm going to just use uh, okay and hit submit All right, so now, uh, so I got the email here, and then let's, uh, okay. And here, so input the new password, so I'm try that, okay. Oh, this is Safari, I don't wanna reset password here, so I gotta, I was using Chrome. So let's just copy and paste here. Okay, so let's use this one, uh, let's try. And then uh, let's go to reset. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, actually, it should redirect to the uh, same page, but let's uh, let's try this. So, see if it's going to work. Uh, new password. All right. Now, head back to my account page. All right, so here is the uh, just quick tutorial for how to create a login page and then reset password uh, on the same page.
with uh, Croc Block uh, Jetform Builder. So I hope, um, yeah, this uh, is helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.